let's move on. Little Nas X uh, confirmed that he indeed is a power bottom. Hey, twin. So am I on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> he broke down his reasonings in a funny te- yet powerful way. So many people could relate. In response to a fan, Little Nas X tweeted, we teach our bottoms to shrink themselves, to uh, make themselves smaller. We say to bottoms, you can have ambition, but not too much. You should aim to be successful, but not too successful. Otherwise, you would threaten the top. For those of y'all out there in TV world that don't know what a power bottom is, um, anyone want to explain what a power bottom is? And do you agree with Little Nas X statement? So, I'm, going, I'm going to... Um default to funky on this one because what and i'm not I, i'm not deflecting at all because i i would do my research on everything and after the last power bottom debacle on this show i do i did my research but this is what i want to know like this is on a serious note funky is what he state true is is what he's saying about how bottom think about themselves is is what he actually stated? Is it true? Is it is that something in the community? Because so, I I can't say that I understand what he's saying. Honestly, so I'm not first, trying to be funny. I'm being honest. First and foremost, that quote is from off of Beyonce's album. Okay, oh, it yeah. comes on after the live version of "We Like to Party," and it's 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 Angela Davis or Nikki Giovanni or somebody, and where he put power bottom, it's actually women. women. We teach women to treat themselves. We teach Got women. It to be ambitious, but not too ambitious. So it was a play on that. However, the bigger issue is that, yes, there is a premium placed on masculinity in the gay community and masculinity is associated with being a top. And there is a devaluation of being a bottom and bottoms, the the, the stereotype is, oh, you're a bottom, so you must be feminine or you must be queeny or you must be less than. And there's a lot of shame. You know, when the gay girls read each other, they be like, oh, shut up, you old nasty bottom. You know what I'm saying? But nobody ever says, shut up, you nasty top, because top is preferred. Top, there's a premium placed on it. So, you know, there... You know, there was space for him to do a lot of education and advocacy here had it not been wrapped up in this shock value thing that he seems to be stuck on right now that is really annoying the hell out of me. Because I feel like coming off an old time road, old town road, that the music should speak for itself and all these other antics. Even down to him wearing the dress on on the red carpet. I didn't understand. Girl, it. Give I Billy didn't Porter, it. give Billy Porter back his shtick, okay? <laughs> Billy <laughs> Porter is Billy Porter is sitting at home for real wearing skirts and dresses. You're not, you know. He's got this thing, and I get it. It's rebellion. It's rebellion. Y'all called me all kind of sissies and faggots all my life. Now this sissy is on top, and I'm gonna rub it in y'all's face every day. That is what he's doing. I get it. I've been there, but I just wish that little Nas would get to the music because he's giving me a Lizzo T, more known right now for his antics than his talent. On that note, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back and we're going to either talk about Benzino not feeling little Nas X or one of y'all going to have to read, uh, you know, this this is whole Eva, Marcel, and uh, mm-hmm. Michael Costello thing. We're going to talk about it during the break and we'll be back with more TGIF on Wednesday when we return. <laughs> Thanks, Michael.